Put in at the Huffman Bridge access. It is on the very tip end of Lake Road Hiss. It is where the Catawba River, Johns River, and Lower Creek all feed in. And I have pulled out of the main channel a little bit and I found this back in here. It's not too deep, but we can see from the flooding a couple weeks ago that it was well, it looks six to eight feet higher than what it is now across so and see if you can see that other kayak that gentleman is with no pressure outdoors YouTube channel he got with me a few nights ago and we met and decided to go fishing together and do a little collaboration so we're definitely out here I am three water summer slam. I need to get rid of a 13 inch, a 14 inch, and a 15 inch today somehow. That is my goal anyway. So we're definitely going to give it a try. I appreciate all the subscriptions. We are at 162 this morning. Climbing steadily. A few a week. I love it and I appreciate it. Keep following me on NC Yak Angler, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and I appreciate it very much. And I'm going to get over here and try to throw a few and see if maybe I can find a few 18s to help me get back up that leaderboard. I was in 20th last night when I looked. So from 46 to 12th down to 20th, it is a tight competition. So we definitely got to stay after it. Anyway, I appreciate it. And I'm going to get over here and try to figure out exactly where I'm going to fish a little bit and go from there. Thank you so much. We have got one. I don't know if it's going to measure to help the cause or not. we definitely going to check it out. I don't think so. I don't think she's bigger than 13. A little bit of one for sure, but nothing major. Mm. No. Ain't going to help us at all. But hey, it's a pretty little bass this morning. Better than nothing. Alright, stay tuned. No, I haven't made it way back in here. It's just a little after seven now. And it is a very, very pretty place. I caught that one little dink and I have missed two. I missed a decent one right here where this tree fell over in front of me coming in and kind of shocked about that. But it happens. So I'm going to paddle back around and probably back out towards the mouth of well, I'm going to have to assume it's called the Catawba River. Like I said, we're at the very top, top end of Lake Rhodes. So, I'm pretty sure it's still considered a Catawba River right here. But we're going to paddle up and go to a place called, I think it's called Lower Creek. It feeds out of the mountains up towards Blowing Rock and Boone. And I think we're going to go paddle up that and see if we can find any possible smallmouth. I hear they're up there. And this water is uh, 15 degrees cooler up here than it is at the house, so that's a good sign. I figured I'd pull one or two out of here of decent size, but it's really shallow with some pockets. So, like I said, I missed a decent one right here. I'm going to try a couple more times and then paddle out of here. But good morning. Look at this. Uh, this is just, oh, it's just so beautiful. It doesn't get any better than this. Thank you, God. Thank you. To be able to come out here and do this and just relax. It, it, it almost is just puts you in another state of mind. Get out of bed, people. Good Lord, get out of bed and get outside. Anyway, let me get back to it. Me and No Pressure Outdoors have paddled up the Catawba River like I was talking about. Top of Lake Rhodes. I guess this is actually Catawba River. But straight ahead, I think it's a bald eagle we have found. I'm gonna paddle up to it and see. I'm, yeah, it is. We can get it, get it flying off. Yep. 
Yeah, look at that. That is so beautiful. Oh, that's why you got to get out in nature, people. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. We have got sidetracked a thousand times this morning. We're trying to get to the lower creek and we just keep getting sidetracked by scenery and everything else. So up around this bend is where we're going. We'll get there eventually. All right, stay tuned. I'll tell you what, the fishing part is, <laughs> well, it's not too well, but the scenery, it is like, wow. We have come up in here a decent bit and just no nothing. Water's a little bit murky. Uh, all I know to do is keep at it. We're gonna go a little bit farther and if we don't get anything, we're gonna go back out and try to fish the banks of the main channel because I've got to be able to call some fish today. Anyway, stay tuned. Still beautiful. Thank you, God. We went another quarter mile up Lower Creek. Absolutely nothing. We're making it back out into the mouth of Catawba. Probably go to our left. Maybe work some of these banks and try to find something. But right now, we are having no luck. I need to be able to call some fish. So we have definitely got to figure out something. Garrett with no pressure outdoors is about like me. We, we've got to find some fish. Just having no luck this morning. Oh, well, let me keep on going for it here. Let's try to find something. i tell you what, the fishing part is, <laughs> well, it's not too well. But the scenery, it is like, wow. We have come up in here a decent bit and just no nothing. Water's a little bit murky. Uh, all I know to do is keep at it. We're going to go a little bit farther, and if we don't get anything, we're going to go back out and try to fish the banks of the main channel because I've got to be able to call some fish today. Anyway, stay tuned. Still beautiful. Thank you, God. Yep. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Threw up in that rock. Back there in that corner. Oh. This bank right here might be worth working one more time. I hear you. I'm sorry. Just chill out. Stuff to do right now. I don't know if it's going to help the cause, but it's definitely another bass. I swear I needed mama and daddy. Uh, but you never know. Maybe we'll get lucky here. We ain't, we're just going to try to measure it real quick and see what we got. And I'll tell you what. There's got to be a bigger one in here somewhere. And that's the one I need real bad. But yeah, I don't even have to measure that right there and it's not going to do nothing to help the cause so let's watch this little fella swim off all right anyway stay tuned for some more there you go 
Hold on, look, come up there. I got the GoPro on me. Uh, there you go. Tell you what, they're all trying to be about that size, ain't they? Hold that one up. There you go. Good looking, yeah. That's actually probably about a 14 or 15. Good deal, good deal. Well, he pulled that out from underneath that tree right there, so let's keep hunting them. And bar, we're gonna go back in there and see if maybe we can find something. It's broke off from the main channel. I was just looking. It goes back in there. Not super deep, but I may have to try it. This three water summer slam, I'm telling you, has got me going. Just can't get enough of it. This big fish 120 is a beast. Oh, I love it. We are muddy today. We have been in it today, but absolutely love it. Thank you, God, for everything we have. So I want to go try to find some more back in here somewhere. Give it a couple more hours and go from there. God is good. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it so, so very much. Oh, thank you very much. When I just switched over to a crank, threw it up on them rocks and got us one. I don't know. It's, I think it's definitely, definitely going to help the cause. I just got to get it in this net because it's barely hooked. Oh, come on. Come on, get in this net. Get in this net. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God. Oh, let me, let me get this thing unhooked. Oh. Let me get this thing unhooked here and get a measure on it and add it to my scoreboard. Three water summer slam, baby. Oh yeah, I'll be back. 15 and three quarters. That'll definitely get rid of the 13. So today with the 13 and a quarter, no, 15 and three quarters. So I've uh, about three inches, 77, that should put me in the 80 mark. Uh, got 21 inches to go, but hey, oh Lord, Lord. What'd you think, brother? Having a good day? Good day. All right. Day water, fish. See if we can get maybe maybe one or two more. Well, let's let this one go. Maybe get one or two more before we call it a day because it's hot here in the south. There it went. All right, we'll be back. We are calling it a day. We had four each. He had a bluegill, so that makes technically hit five. But uh, I appreciate it. I'll go back and get all this edited up. And we'll go from there. No pressure fishing. NC Yak. We did a little collaboration and caught some fish together. I think we're both tired, hot, and ready to be done. But we'll definitely do it again. And I got to call twice. So out of four fish, two calls, I'll take it. If I did the math right, I should be 80-some inches, low 80s. So good day, good day. Did you enjoy it, brother? Have a good day. All right. Tell them what your YouTube channel is. No pressure outdoors. No pressure outdoors. Might even be able to hook you up with a link to it. And uh, we'll go from there, but we'll do it again, I'm sure. And I'm sure I've caught his channel every other thing because my memory sucks. It's called getting old. But anyway, thanks for tuning in, and God bless, and we'll be back.